Hi, uh, doing a video this morning. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. We're going to have training tonight. Uh, so this morning, I thought I'd do a training on uh, leases. Um, so the first thing is uh, a call comes in. Uh, no matter how it comes in, you're going to uh, pick up the phone. Hey, this is Doug with DHS Realty. Uh, yeah, my name's John. I'm looking to lease a property uh, under $3,000. And I would like uh, anything in Grayson County. So you're going to talk to them on the phone, confirm their cell phone, confirm their email, establish a rapport with them, ask them where they're coming from, if they're in a current lease now, if they are, when's the expiration, if they're in a house, just kind of what their story is. And then um, you're going to tell them that you'll send them a list of properties and then just say something like, hey, one more thing before I get you off the phone, give me your realtor's name so I can protect their commission in case you like one of the houses I'm gonna send. And they say, oh, we don't have a realtor. And then you say, all right, well, I'll get back with you um, and I'll be sending you a list of properties very shortly. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna log into uh, MLS. And we know that that website is matrix.netris.net. When you log in, your home screen will look something like this. You might've edited it a little, but we do need to know that when you hover over this search tab at the top, that's where that's going to be our money maker. So we're going to go down to residential lease and hit detailed or quick. It doesn't matter, whichever one. Once you hit detailed or quick, this is your MLS search criteria. We're going to go over here and go 0 3000. We're going to go down here and type in Grayson and County, select it. And we can see that right now there's 128 homes. We'll say that he wanted single family and um, wanted something 2010 and newer. Okay, you can see there's 37 homes. Um, that's master down, and he wants a four bedroom minimum. You can see we're down to 10. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a space for um, covered parking. Okay, now um, you'll see that it doesn't say garage. OK, so I'm going to go underneath here and hit below the results tab, hit add, remove. And here I'm going to type in garage. And it'll say attached garage, yes or no. And then I'm going to also put the control button down and do spaces. And then I'm going to hit add. Now I've moved them over here. Now I'm going to hit the back button <clears throat> and they'll be below my results tab. Okay, so I'm going to go two and a plus because he wants a two garage. You can see there's nine matches. All right. Um, now, let's say that he only wanted a single story. Okay, you go back below the results tab. And you hit add remove. And over here, you put stories. And you can see it says stories. And you hit add. And then you hit the back button and you'll see that it'll have stories here. Now, if it doesn't add stories, that means that it's already here. OK, and you can see that it didn't add stories. All right. So that means that it's somewhere up here in the top section. All right. And as you look around, you'll see total stories. And here you could put one dash one. And that takes it down to two matches. So if we were going to send this to him, we would hit results, save new auto email. So we'll do it. Results. Save. New auto email. That's it. Results, save new auto email. We're going to create a, cl a client. So you have to create a new contact. <clears throat> so you put their name. Okay. And then you hit save. Again, it's going to be a fictional person. And then in here, you're going to put lease homes or something like that. You're about to email it to him, so you're going to be in touch with him anyway. Scroll to the bottom. Before you hit save, you're going to hit ASAP, and then you hit save. You just email the properties. All right, so let's say that um, after you email them, you're going to text them and say, hey, I just want to let you know I did send you uh, two properties that fit your criteria. Let me know if you want to look at any. I'd be honored to work with you. Um, he gets back with you in a couple days, so you know that... Uh, you have to log back into MLS 
and you'll be at this screen. He tells you that one of them is called 709 Ray. So all you do here is go 709 and an R, and you hit search, and it should pull the property up. And you'll see that it's the first one. So one more time, this is like dummy proof. This is how you find a property really quick. Know the street number, and then just type the first letter of the street name and hit search. And you'll see that that's the first property. You click on the MLS number, and here it is. You're going to scroll down. It says get in touch with showing time. It says do not give out code, and all agents must attend showing with their client customers. So you're going to call showing time. The phone number, if you don't see it, you could Google it. It's not difficult. Um, but the phone number is 817-858-0055. You can go to the app or you can go to showingtime.com. So you show the property and they end up liking it after you make the appointment. It's always a good idea to go above the MLS number next to the clock and see if there's any attachments. Okay, there, there are, there's four. So you need to open them and see what they are. So that's pretty easy. That's nothing. IBS, okay. There's a floodplain notice. Again, this is a lease. So this is a landlord one. They'd have to fill that out. That would be part of your documents and then leasing criteria. That's always good to look at before you go show because it could be a non-negotiable, um, but you're going to look through this. I print it. Obviously, it looks like the applicants need to sign it. You're going to print this page and it tells you what to do. So you're going to follow the instructions there because you text the agent and say that your client likes it. What's the next step? And they say it's available. Look on transaction desk. Well, that is it. And they say, look at leasing criteria and add the uh, landlord's floodplain when you send over the uh, application. So you're going to go into zip forms. However you get to zip forms, you know that you're going to click on the blue, the blue uh, screen will show. And the next screen that you click on is going to be the new tab. You're going to click on it. You get three boxes that you care about, seller, buyer, or lease. You're going to name it. I'm just going to name it test, but it's going to be the tenant's name. Select the dot next to residential every single time, no exceptions. And then the template, you'll have one of three to pick, and you'll pick tenant landlord. You'll hit close or save. The next screen, you'll be looking at a white summary square. Go two tabs over to documents. The first thing you'll need to do is send the IBS and the buyer rep agreement. Okay, that's super easy. This is pre-filled. This you only need to fill in two paragraphs, paragraph one and four. You're going to open up the agreement between brokers. Open it in classic form. You're going to look at the MLS printout. You're going to scroll down and you can see that they're paying 50%. That's where that's located. Buyer agency commission, 50%. The good news is, this has been pre-filled with 50%. So all you got to do is make sure you have your information on the left, the listing broker information over here. So delete all this, and then you're going to sign it and send it over to the agent. <clears throat> you're going to hit the back button. That's called the agreement between brokers. Now you're going to pull up the lease application. So you're going to scroll down and look for it. And when you open it, you're going to send it as a PDF. So open it in the classic form. At the top, hit send email. Two screens pop up. You're going to red X out of the first one. And you're going to type in your client's email. Say you're going to copy yourself. In here, you're going to put print, fill out, and scan back to me as a PDF. Hit send and you just emailed it to them. You're going to text your client and tell them to print this and fill it out and send it back to you. Now what you're going to do is once you get it back, you're going to text the agent whose name is at the bottom right here, Patty Allen. You're going to text her at that number and say, hey, Patty, I have the agreement between brokers. I have the lease application. 
I'm about to send it over to you. How much is the lease app and tell me how to pay it. It could be on the lease criteria on transaction desk. And then are there any other forms you need, Patty? And Patty's going to say, I need your W9 of your broker. That is on back agent. And this is back agent. And you're going to go into back agent. This is your page. You're going to go to office. You're going to go to documents. You're going to go to quick resources. And there it is. You're going to hit send and share. Send it to yourself. And that way you'll always have it on your phone. And that is what the broker needs. They don't need your W-9. They need DHS Realty's W-9. And then you wait for a response back from the agent after you confirm with them that they have received all the documents. And if they agree to your client, then they will, if they agree to your client, then they will send you the lease. You'll get the lease signed and ask the uh, landlord agent what checks need to be made and who they need to be made out to. On a lease, the landlord broker sends the tenant broker the lease commission made out to the broker. And then I match it with back agent and take $50 out and cut you your check. Okay. I hope this helps. Y'all have a great day.